Do you have your eye on any wallabies who you would like to recruit for the Olympics? Um, there's a few that you know well, I think would would work in well, and uh, again, who and why and how is probably the biggest thing. So have they had experience? What uh, what could they add to the to the current squad? Are they going to combine well with uh, with with certain players? So. Um, and look, in reality, some of the, the, the Wallabies running around are some of the best players in Australia, if not the world. So if, if they want to play or are interested in playing, of course I'm going to be, be open to it, but it has to, it has to fit and uh, they've got to be in the right, in the right fitness levels and the right experience to be able to do it. Someone like Bernard Yeah, look, you look at him, he's played a lot of sevens and he actually, he came to life or his career sort of launched off, off the back of sevens. So, you know, he... Uh, He's done all that, you know. Whether he could come back and play play sevens um, is uh, is something that could be uh, explored. What about Sam Karevi? Yeah, so um, like Sam Karevi, he obviously has signed over in, in Japan, and he's uh, at the peak of his his game really. And to see him back in an Australian jersey would be huge for for Australian rugby and massive for sevens. So. Is, uh, is he a guy of interest? Yeah. And Sean McMahon's the other one. And Sean fits in perfectly with uh, the Bernard Foley stuff. So Sean's uh, played a lot of sevens and again sort of paved his, his uh, or launched his career. Uh, and because of his um, position now within, within playing uh, in Japan, um, to get, I reckon, two or at least engaged conversations, to have two players, Kirby and McMahon, who are probably at the peak of their game to get them back in a gold jersey. I think it's a massive, uh, a massive sort of coup for for rugby in Australia.